Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and update you guys with the day three progression on the Paladin. Um, so I've had a lot of fun on this character. I originally started off as Holy Bolt, but Holy Bolt felt a little too strong for me. Uh, so we respect to Melee because I really wanted to... I kind of just wanted to see how Melee works in Diablo 2. I've always been scared of playing Melee in D2 because I didn't play much as a kid and I'm not really used to like the resolution of the game and it feels kind of wonky to target stuff, but it's honestly been a lot of fun. Um, so I, I think in the previous video I showed you guys I was playing Fire Zeal since um, the earliest aura I could grab was Holy Fire. I ended up respecking in Nightmare um, around where Diablo is, mainly because there was just so many fire immunities and I kept getting triggered that I, I couldn't really kill properly. So I decided to spec into Sanctuary. Sanctuary is basically holy of, uh, it's like holy, holy fire. So we're basically full magic damage and I've noticed there's very, very, very few magic immune monsters. Uh, I do want to convert to physical so I can use life leech, but for now we're basically full magic. So I've got Sanctuary giving us 1,500 top-end magic. I've got Blessed Aim, which gives synergy and also gives really good attack rating, even though we don't actually run the aura. And then I have Might, just because Might has synergy with Sanctuary. As for my combat skills, I've just got like one point in Joust, one point in Holy Shield, and the rest are into Zeal right now. Unfortunately, Zeal doesn't really give us damage. The damage percent you see is only scaling physical, and we're all holy at the moment, but the attack bonus is very good for accuracy. I'm not going to go over all my gear, but for the most part, uh, I'm using a five socket phase blade that I found. I put in three Eth runes. Uh, or sorry, two Eth runes, which gives us minus 50% to target defense, which helps a lot with accuracy. And then the rest are just shale because I hit the one of the highest breakpoints. I think there's one breakpoint higher. Maybe I'm incorrect. We we're using the calculator to see. But the breakpoint for attack speed is really, really good. I think the sweet spot I wanted to hit was 62 or 72%. So we'll jump in right away and I will show you guys the content and kind of some cool places to farm in PD2. So... Let me go ahead and jump to, I'm sure you guys all know Andariel, so we're going to go run towards her. In the last video, I got a comment saying I'm playing Diablo 2 music in a Diablo 2 game. This time, I did not play my Diablo 2 music that I normally play, and instead I put the volume to max for the music, but it doesn't seem that it plays all the time. It's very strange. So the main reason why I want to respec physical is... To my knowledge, in Diablo 2, Life Leech is only for Fizz. It's not for any form of Elemental, which sucks because Life Regeneration is so hard to acquire um, that I basically have to pot anytime I take damage because my health does not ever go up. Oh, that's a mean... Oh my goodness! My chat makes fun of me a lot because I always blink into might packs, but like, because the Merc is always so slow, I always have to joust to get him in there, or else he just dies. <laughs> so I, I often I often get a massive amount of spike damage on um, might packs since I only have 30% physical resist at the moment with, where is my fizz res? It is there, 31. Ironically, we only have one death on the character. Um, the only death I've had was, like, level 5. Ooh, Winged Helm. What is this? I don't know, but that looks... Re Chance at Crushing Blow and Deadly Strike? I'm gonna keep that. Um, but it was Blood Raven. Blood Raven legitimately one-tapped my character um, the first time I went and fought her. I have no clue why. She is really mean in this okay come on andariel where is your where's the next floor not here okay maybe it's over here do 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 i'm really enjoying the joust gameplay it's one of the new skills added in uh project diablo 2 it's super nice for just syncing up your Merc, 
and really committing to like hitting the target. A lot of the time there's desync issues, but with Joust it's really nice because you literally, you straight up just blink strike the target. So there's no desync issue whatsoever. There we go. Finally level three. I just closed the door on myself. What? Oh, the line of sight is so crazy. If I'm over here, I can't see them? I didn't know that. Overburdened. Hmm. Hmm. As you guys can tell, I am definitely not a D2 speedrunner. <laughs> it's like I full clear every single zone. I hate it. I hate it so much. It reminds me of playing Path of Exile. <laughs> In the sense of, like, I always feel like I go the wrong way. here and down to the bottom tell me this is it come on am I gonna find Andariel before the servers go down you're welcome Nope, this is a dead end. We're gonna find it. We're gonna find it. I'm not gonna retake this video. I don't have time. The servers are going down. Alright, right here. Right here. This is it. Not like this. Really? It's okay. It's down here. Here, maybe? Yeah? There we go. Okay, nice. Do I have an antidote? Okay, good. I have antidotes on me. Mage plate? Nice. It's actually looking for mage plates, but I don't need that one. Alright, so... Anti-poison's on. Holy shield's up. Oh no, there's a rare pack with it. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's get the Merc over here. Large charm, nice.
Okay, so to show you guys one of the, um, one of like the good areas to farm real fast. I didn't expect Andariel to take so long. Yes. So what we can do is we can go from the Rogue Encampment or this one right here, not Rogue Encampment. The portal to Outer Cloister. Uh, and this is going to be farming Pit. The reason why Pit is really good is... The, it's either the mobs or the item level of the mobs in there drop very, very high level stuff. And then I think you want to just follow the road here. I just like to kill the, the blue packs there. Not sure if it's this way or the other way. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Into the pit. And this is a super, super nice area to get. I mean, pretty much. I mean, I don't know exactly how much you can, like what you can get from here, but I've just been told it's a very, very high level zone for like the item level of the monsters themselves. So it's like a really good entry level into hell to start farming stuff. I found my Mercs uh, Reaper's Toll here. Which is really nice. I mean, I started farming here like low level 60s and I was getting 75 plus drops. Why? Oh, I see. And then level 2 has really good density. Kind of scary in here, actually. You can get, like, super unlucky with how the pack spawn with the ranged mobs. Seems like we're fine though. Nothing scary in here. Ooh, grand charm. And then you get a chest that for me always has complete shit. Nice. Let's go see what we got. Identify. Plus one shape shifting. Oh, how nice. It's a skiller charm. Very nice. Uh, so yeah, to go over just a little bit of like kind of what the progress has been on the character. Um, I've got really shit gloves, but the 20% on them was needed to hit the break point. Um, not sure when I'm converting to Fizz yet, but since I got the Reaper's Toll, I think the amp damage that he has on it allows him to basically uh, partially strip Fizz immune, which means when I convert to Fizz, uh, we should be able to handle Fizz immunity that I'm really excited for. I've got a really bad chest piece. I've been safety crafting chest pieces at the moment, mage plates specifically, to try to get a better craft. If you guys are unaware of what that means, I think, yeah, okay, here we go. I got a good, a good little chart for you to look at. So basically, safety crafting chest pieces is right over here on this chart. You can see here on a chest piece, aka right here, body, whenever we craft with a Eth rune, a perfect emerald, and a jewel. It rolls 5 to 15% physical DR, half freeze duration, enhanced defense, and then it rolls its own stats on top of that. Um, so basically, the physical DR is really what I'm looking for, and then any desirable stats on top of that to help me, like, res cap 
or anything else. And I'll put a link to this in the description. I've got 30% movement speed boots with MF. I've got the shield I showed you guys in the previous video we're actually using now. Um, I've got the rock stopper still, which is the 10% fizz res. I had to switch out my MF amulet for this amulet with all res since I'm not even really capped yet for hell difficulty. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much about it. I, oh, I also have two Nagel rings now. I've got a 37% Nagel here and a 35% here. And today I actually found a Geed's Fortune, which is pretty nice because it rolled 34% MF and I'm really happy about that. I think that's going to help us kind of get started into finding some stuff. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. And I'll link the document for you guys, like I said, in the description down below. Take care, have a wonderful time, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow.